Hello everyone, the great Dynamaji here again, back with another review. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at the last of the newest Jurassic World toys. This one I found at not my local Walmart, but a different, no, not Walmart, I meant uh, Target. So a different Target, not my local one. But we will be taking a look at the Jurassic World Action Attack Sukumimus. Now, I when I saw this in the store, I flipped out and I immediately grabbed it off the shelf, went to the self-checkout, and bought it. I was so happy. I, I always thought I was never going to like find it until like Christmas where someone's going to have to like order it online. But no, I found it. And then when I went to the Target, my local tar Target, there were like three of them there. I was like, oh wow, that's impressive. So... So basically the same as the Carnotaurus and Stegosaurus, which I have not reviewed yet. Um, so keep an eye out for those. But you know, Owen Blue, Jurassic World logo, the awesome background with the volcano and the jungle and the fire. Sukumimus. And here's a very poor package um, of the Sukumimus with as a chomp action. Now as you can see, the package is well yeah i found it like this when i found this it was the only one there so eh, i don't really care for the package i just care about the toy that comes with it so yeah and here are the dinosaurs on the back i have all three so that's good and here's the very the sukumimus really good artwork on the back Massive chompy action, Sukumimus, everything you could ever want in this toy. So this is basically my second Spinosaur for the Jurassic Park series. All I need now is just the uh, Spinosaurus, which I'm still on the lookout for. So, uh, but here's the Sukumimus out in her big glory. Uh, but she does need, I need to adjust her legs for her to stand up. But here she is. I think this is, thing is awesome. It's massive. At least to me it is. It's massive. You could literally play a fight with this guy in the Carnotaurus. That just gave me a good idea for a movie. So thank myself for coming up with that. <laughs> so. Hmm. Try and think what else I could say. Um, let's take a look at the head first. So very good detail. I'll try to do this real quick, but there's lots of good detail across the face. Very crocodilian-like. Yeah, very, very nice. Very nice. So the head, I love the head. Definitely can tell it's a Spinosaur. Um, I'd say kind of a little thick. It might been a little more skinnier but that doesn't bother me just a little nitpick uh, the teeth are awesome the tongues painted the roof and the mouth is painted so I already know I won't have to repaint this one because I'm planning on just like repeating like the inside of some carnivores so it looks all fleshy um, very good sculpt I really like the eye looks nice now I've seen the coloration is based off of the uh, that artwork for the first Jurassic World. Except the one thing that is different is the little sail, fish like sails on the back. Which kind of a lot of people didn't like, but I think it looks good. It, it definitely, in my opinion, screams Sukumimus. I mean, it is a water dinosaur, so I, I, I really like it. Um. I'm pretty sure this is what the Jurassic Park Sukumimus would probably look like. Uh, but I don't I could be wrong. I'm not trying to ruin anyone's um, idea of what Sukumimus really looked like. I know I love paleontology too, and I know this is not what it really looked like. But for Jurassic Park, I love it. Uh, I really like the coloration. As you can see, there are some scratches on it that were sculpted in, so I already know I'm going to have to paint some of those in, like I did with my other carnivores. 
um, the claws are actually painted. Well, just like the carnotaurs. And the this claw is painted. I don't I forgot what that's called, but it's painted. <laughs> um really love the coloration on this animal. Yeah, looks really nice. There's really nothing else I could say. I mean they could have had like a like a lighter tone to it at the bottom. But also another nitpick. Um, some articulation, so they didn't paint the claws, but that's okay. Probably a future um, paint job I'll probably do. But the arms can move front and back, and they're kind of like tight when you move them, so that's what I like, which is, has a less chance of actually breaking. I'm not saying none of mine actually broke, but I've had past toys that were not Jurassic Park that did that, so uh, they can move up and down. looks really nice the legs can move mine can move to about there and mine to about there same with this one and this one has two clicks so you can make it stand higher see look now now it will stand up see there we go now we can test out, oh well, okay, well they do swivel back and forth just like all the other Jurassic World toys by Mattel. The tail can move technically around, so that's pretty cool, so just like most of the other toys. Now for the action feature, there's a, well obviously you can tell there's a button right here, and then if you push it, it opens a mouth for a little bit and snaps. I like it. Very similar to the Carnotaurus, which is nice. Really cool. Now I can, I'm going to set it right here as we're going to um, size compare it really quickly. Um, I'm going to start with humans. Let's take our Kenner, Dr. Alan Grant. As you can see, it sees a bit big. So right now, the Stukamimus looks more like the size of a Baryonyx. Um, in real life, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure the Bar the Jurassic Park would be a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, and then human, we're going to take my, this Owen. And wow, this thing is massive. I'd, very a accurate, I would say. Wouldn't want to run into this when I, if I were in Africa, so. Or on Jurassic Park in general. <laughs> but really good size. Mattel is doing awesome with the size with humans and dinosaurs. I think it's amazing. Um, now if we use dinosaurs in general. My, my Carnotaurus is apparently downstairs. So, I'll pick at least two dinosaurs to size it with so to keep it in the family we got the baryonyx which also has custom painted with the scratches there we go so yeah I like them together and I'm pretty sure when I get the spinosaurus which I'm hoping to find pretty soon it's gonna be the sec the next biggest after the Suko, so it'd be biggest to smallest. So, really cool. Really cool how they fit together like that. And then one more dinosaur um, is the Action Attack Stegosaurus. Really cool. Now I have completely finished the action attack dinosaurs at least for this year because I know next year we're getting a, an a action attack therizinosaurus so can't wait for that and I think I just need one more dinosaur for this year to complete my roarvores and that's the Sinoceratops aka the Pachyrhinosaurus um, but really nice 
So, hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys again in another review. See ya.